previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's just out over there. I should be able to. I think I can just get up there, here and drive into it straight. Anyway, right. So I've got to take some blood pressure and, and, and you know other things. And quite often when I'm playing this game and recording this for you, I'll look at the watch afterwards. And first off, my blood pressure, will, you know, not blood pressure, but my heart rate will be will be quite low. You know, sort of relaxed heartbeat is the is the definition. You know, you're in a relaxed sort of uh, 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 feel. Um, but the other thing that's quite interesting. Oh, there's a bit of rock in the middle of that. That's not very nice. Um, the other thing that's there that uh, is quite interesting is it often that rock's going to hit me, isn't it? I'm not sure I want to drive over that. I don't mind putting the, the, the trailer over it, but I don't want to drive over that particularly. Hello, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, we're on a small mission. We're on a mission to get a new van. Um, new van? A new man truck. New van? I don't know where that came from. I think it's because I've been driving my van a lot recently. Anyway, um, so we're on a mission to get ourselves a new a man a truck. Um, and we're going to have a little look at the map. Actually, no, we're going to look at truck dealers so we can look at the map. So we'll go to truck dealers and we're going to have a little look for man ones. I think this one here. Um, which is in where are we? And what day of the week is as well? That, we need to know that as well, because otherwise, if we arrive anyway, other than Monday and Saturday, we're we're, we're going to be in trouble. Marseille is where we're going to, so we're trying to get back to Marseille to the man dealer there. I know we can buy it online. I know I know we can do all that because I bought enough trucks. But I really I kind of like the, the 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 journey that goes with it. So let's see if we can find a job that takes us to Marseille. So we'll just bring up the old world map here, or should I say not world map? We'll bring up the old freight market. And save ourselves some time rather than searching for one so let's freight market uh, from our current location let's see if we can find the one that goes to Marseille and this is where nothing is going to go to Marseille from where we are where's that go that's literally the wrong direction it says Italy there anyway why would, why would I think that I was going anywhere else let's see if we can find one to Marseille is there anything going to France Where's this? Oh, this isn't far away. This is a boat. I love taking yachts. We've had yachts before. Um, this is a this is a big old yacht. Um, with it's it's only six tons, but but I've really enjoyed this. And sometimes we've had some real, we've had some real issues getting these things and then taking them and going to places. So hang on, is that so? From here, and oh, we can't go all the way over here to this island, and then go to this next one to go across there to do it. Now it's quite a long journey, 27 hours, but most of it's um, on ferries. So that looks like the one for us. I think that's the one to do. Now I, I, I remember somebody said to me in the comments a couple of things. Let's have a little look at this. We set the GPS. Um, said it to me in the comments. I think once somebody said, "Remember to get fuel." So wherever I am, let's get fuel. That's the first thing. Um, I think that was. I think it was Mark. Thanks, Mark. Um, who said to get fuel? Bob, I've completely forgotten to do the important thing, which was yeah, you're right, Mark. We've, we've got with with a very short fuel. Um, I've forgotten to do the most important Let's thing, go. which of course, uh, oh, and raspy dogs on. Forgot my raspy dog. Um, so so I have forgotten to do. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten to. Uh, let's just oh, space. I put the handbrake on. Should have taken it off. Um, I've forgotten the most important thing here, which is... Where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? Oh, right, okay. I, I, we're in a truck stop somewhere. Right, I've forgotten the most important thing, and I can see from here, by the way. I've probably gone the wrong way here. Should meant to, was I meant to go round? Don't know. Where's the way out? That's just the hotel. All right, okay. Um, I've forgotten the most important thing here is to change the traffic density from the, the options menu because I do like vanilla, and we've, we've discussed this before. Turn left. Um, turn left, yes, thanks, Raspy Dog. Um, I do turn like left. a vanilla version of the game, so so um, I do tend to kind of stick that way, but apparently there's a way to change the configuration, and from my point of view, that, that, that's a winner. That's the, that's the approach, but I haven't done it. So um, 
Um, that's a bit silly because I, I forgot to do it. Anyway, we'll do the quick recap. You know that you know you know the Get drill. The back. drill is we're going to do. Um, it's the time is uh, if you look down in the bottom right hand corner. It is 8:48 a.m. And we've got the speed, which is now zero. Uh, drag gear we're in, which is A4. So automatic four. That's what we're starting off in. Uh, we're followed by the damage to the truck, the fuel, which was empty. Um, as, as a little fuel pump there. It's a little tiny little dash of yellow in there. We've got the old bed, which is how tired I am. Then we've got the um, envelope, which is totally underused in my my opinion. And then we've got the time, which is Wednesday, 8.51 a.m. Um, then we've got the destination waypoint. We are meant to get in there Wednesday at... Um, computing. Yeah, I know. We're, 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 I don't know what you just said there, but I... I'm sorry, Raspy Doug. We're going to have to change the, the, the thing in a, a sooner or later. Right, turn this off. Let's fill this thing up. Um, so we've got... Um, what we got? Um, we've got 400,000, which is beautiful, which is exactly what we want. This is where we're going to buy ourselves a big old truck, a big old man truck, um, which is... Well, there's an 8x4, I think, the first version of it, which is eight sets of wheels um, by four-wheel drive. It's amazing. Um, so let's go. So, yeah, I know. We've paid for that. We've got our diesel. Yep. I'm, I'm on it, Doug. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Let's go. Let's get out here. Let's get on this road and let's get to the, onto the road to nowhere. So we've got that. Um, Mark's been showing off by showing me on his Twitter account um, that he's got been taking helicopters again. I'm, I'm taking boats. That's my equivalent, mate. I'm taking boats. So, so, so. But he's been taking he's been taking helicopters again. I never. I've not been close enough to an airport. I think. I think I, I did get close to one, and then I ended up taking a train or something. A locomotive. Good old locomotive for the whole thing. Showing off with that. Now this this is quite exciting this for me. Um, this I'm recording this and I I normally record towards sort of the weekend or, or sort of you know Thursdays or Fridays, but it's usually in the evening. I'm actually recording this during the day on a Friday. I've taken my first technically my first uh, day off for nearly two and a half years, um, uh, and it's quite strange. To be fair though, I've taken about 18 phone calls this morning, um, and, but I'm, I'm not dealing with the problem. Somebody else is, so so that's kind of nice. It, it's it's nice to, uh, to 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 not actually have to deal with them. But but yeah, it's it's been a bit uh, a bit weird that um, doing that. But I'll just move over here. I haven't even got the load yet. I haven't even got the load yet. This is going to be interesting with the the. Fur I haven't put the further density on, but but when this is going to get further density, yeah, I have enough trouble with the computer cars driving enemy when they feel like it, as it stands at the moment. Let alone, yeah, is it because I'm in the wrong lane from their point of view? Is that what it is? Is it from? Am I am I like, am I like confusing their their zen? If that makes sense, they're often running to the Exit bottom of now. me though when I'm coming off. Do I have to stay put, or am I not following the road rules possibly for the for those particular areas? I don't don't know. That's, yeah, we're speeding slightly. It's telling us we're speeding slightly. We're nine miles from our destination to pick up our, our yacht, so this will be interesting. They they come with uh, axled wheels. Apparently, last week I missed the fact that the, the locomotive straight. had um, double a double axle, if that makes sense. So there was there was an axle, Keep and then there was another axle that turned. These trucks, these these trailers keep on confusing me, you know. Have you seen the ones for um, the ones with um, for taking wind turbines? They they actually drive as well. They have drives on the wheels so that you can uh, the, the, so they can actually go sideways as they're moving. Yeah, that's a really weird concept of thought there, but they can actually drive sideways so they can straighten up when they're going over sort of tiny things. I saw, I think that was a YouTube video of some one of them going over a, a tiny little bridge. Um, and and the, basically, this thing was was literally the wheels were driving to bring the 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 the, the, the back end, which is basically because it's it's kind of doesn't have a middle, does it? They have they have like wheels on the front and the back, which are attached to the to the, the propeller, and the propeller then gets pushed around and bounces forward. And the back one can kind of move independently, so that you can drive it. It's kind of kind of weird, kind of interesting to watch though. At the same time, look at this. There's the ferries. This is where we're going to, though. It's where this this boat thing is. 
so we're actually going to pick up the boat here and jump on the boat, the trip thing, straight to, to the islands that we're going to, I think. I think. Or are we going to go up country first? I don't know. I can't see anything coming. Calgary. Okay. 31 again. Went up to 50. Now we're back to 31. Fair enough. I'll do that. But yes, it's quite nice. I've, I've, I'm, I'm having, I'm having, finally having a, a day off. I said I've taken lots of calls, but at least I'm not dealing with it. So I'm kind of just relaxing and and getting on with it, which is cool. So nine forty-nine a.m. at the moment. What a beautiful day! What a beautiful time to go for a journey. I keep speeding. I keep getting in trouble for speeding. There's the sea. We're coming up to the there's there's the dock obviously that we're going to to get the uh, the yacht be all loaded up for us. I must get on with some other simulators. I must get on with bus, bus simulator. I'm kind of excited to do that one as well because it's actually quite good fun bus simulator. Even though I haven't played enough of it, I've only get played a couple hours around. I think. But but I do did I did enjoy playing it and it, it has sort of uh, cities and that are all named right. and, and 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 ready to go. Quite quite a lot of fun that. Right, okay, here we go. We are we are here at the marina. I think we're gonna call it a marina, aren't we? I think that's what I'd call it a marina. Yeah, it's a marina. There we go. Finally, oh there we go. We are here. Those chap chaps there over there. Hello. That'll be a beautiful day actually. Look at that. My beautiful truck. Anyway, let's look at the jobs. Quickly, stop stop messing around. Let's look at the freight market. Let's have a look at these jobs. Right, so where's the one we want? Ready to go. Let's take that job. 36,000. It's a good job. As you notice, it's fragile. It's not quite just in time, but it's important. And it's a high value of, um, product. So that's, that's the reason why we get paid the get extra. So why we, that's why we get. Get on with it. Dear me, Doug. Where is it? Where is it? Can't see it for looking at it. Oh, it's over there. Right, let's get him. Right, so I've got the um, advanced sort of park, uh, advanced sort of cu coupling. I never remember the name of it every time, and I've changed it as well recently because I had to get because I got a new computer, and I've completely forgotten what it is, what it's called. Um, so maybe help to turn the wheels the other way. No idea where I am in the tiger truck. There we go. So, advanced coupling basically just means, um, if I stop for a second, I've got to get that, which is the middle part there, which is called the fifth wheel, that central sort of wheel coupling thing, to hit the pin on the center of the of the truck. So we've got to do that. So that's the that's the that's that's the plan. Um, so let's let's see if we can make sure this happens. So it's it's a little bit more difficult than just being within sort of range when it sort of lets you. This one requires me to be absolutely straight with it. I think I'm going to be off here. Yeah, I am off. Let's bring us over a little bit. And too far, I think. Oh, we just spot on now. What are we waiting? There we go. For? We're spot on. So I like to go outside and watch the watch the thing load, which we just press the T button and it'll load. Watch this go. Then it raises the wheels or the legs and locks the fifth wheel and we're all good to go. That truck looks great, doesn't it? Morning gents. Morning, oi oi. They're really locked in conversation here. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably about my driving, to be honest with you, isn't it? That's something, something like that. Right, okay, here we go. 774 miles to go. 27 hours journey, but it's not going to be because we're talking we're talking here about um, sort of where we are and location. Turn we're going to be... We're, yeah, I know, I know. I'm turning left, I'm turning left. I didn't see anything coming, so let's get us out here. Beautiful little town. Is there some secrets? You see how here, up up ahead, there's a little grey spot in the on the map. Do you see that? On the, if you look down on the GPS, there's a little grey spot there, which you can obviously drive into. Is there some secrets in 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 Euro Truck like that? You know that that you can unlock by driving into this sort of. I guess it's that market area there. Is there something specific about that that's uh, 
that's a factor. Because you see how we can I can actually turn down that one. I don't particularly want to go down it, but what I'm saying is I can turn down it and into the bit there. So, I mean, I just wonder if there was some sort of secrets to the game. Has anybody ever found secrets to the game? Is that something that's that's there? Anyway, how's everybody's week been? Have you had a good time? Have you been busy? Have, have, have we been? Have you been happy? I mean, I'm, to be fair, uh, although I have had the day off today, which is quite nice for me. I, I kind of tied it up with going to the dentist as well, so so I had to go to the dentist. And uh, uh, half my one of my back teeth fell off. The back of one of them fell off. I'm filling on it anyway, and uh, it had fallen off. Um, so I. They need that repaired because they don't do it there and then because they have to wrap up in PPE because of current COVID go restrictions. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go straight. Um, cut PPE, so I've got to rearrange. I've got an appointment now for, for May. Cause thankfully, I haven't done any pain, but this, as I say, half this tooth fell, fell off and uh, there's a filling on top of it. So, um, it's not. It's not brilliant, if that makes sense, that, that it's, it's fell off. But not only that, when, when an x-ray was taken, uh, there's a tooth in front of it where there's a little dark spot. And because she's taking off the filling and part Keep of the tooth right. to, to fix it all, um, I, she's going to have a look at that as well. So there's actually a possibility of getting up the second filling. And to top that all off, um, on the other side of my mouth... Um, and this, this, you can tell it's going to be bad when, you, when your dentist says to you, make sure you have something to eat before you come because you won't be able to eat for several hours. Um, she's, she's, she's going to do the other side on the top and replace an old filling um, and deal with a little bit of cav a little cavity that's there as well. Um, I'm, so I'm poor old me, I'm, getting a, I'm basically getting four fillings for the price of one when I only want really one fixed. So, so um, I'm not doing very well. I've never had particularly good teeth, and it's not because I eat a lot of sugar or drink a lot of sugary things. I, I just, I've just not. I just, I, I think some people are just blessed with 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 good teeth, and some people aren't. And and I, I say, I don't eat a lot of sugars. Um, much, much, much better with my teeth than I ever have been. Go um, and I just, I just been very unlucky with them. So, so, um, yeah, not not very happy about that. If I'm, if I'm honest, not very happy. Little yellow car. Let me see if we can have a race here. Are you ready? Go, 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 go! <laughs> Completely beat me. I am pulling away from the line now, though. I'm putting my foot down. We're going for it. Let's try not to damage our high value cargo. We've got a little way to go. Yeah, they're all pulling over now. So we're going to make a distance out here. Yeah, to, the, the, the dental stuff, I don't mind going to the dentist. There's never been a big and problem when they go to the dentist. It's just, it's always been dentist. expensive. I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if I drank tons of, you know, Coca-Cola and ate loads of sweeties. And although I like them, and I probably have done a little bit in the past, I, I don't anymore particularly. It's probably why I've had less fillings, if I'm honest. I've been very unlucky with sort of teeth in the past. One of my front teeth is a, is a crown as well. Keep right. And then broke that. Right. I broke that on my wedding day just for the entertainment value of it. So so started a bit into a, 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 a sort of you know when you have your sort of meal or whatever else is you do you do for the for the whole thing you know your you, 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 is it reception they call it when it's the the end you know you've you've had your wedding and you're on for the other thing yeah well you had the reception and I bit into a a crusty roll and uh, snapped my front tooth um, so half my wedding photos I'm smiling with teeth um, because they were pre pre biting into the roll half the photos I'm kind of covering my mouth and just smiling without any teeth um, because of obviously the fact that I crunched my tooth look at all these orange trucks there isn't a car underneath me for a minute there I thought there was let's go for it okay yeah so so a bit, bit, bit of lucky with teeth over time yeah that's I spent my I spent it's the same dentist as well and considering I've been married for nearly 21 years now 
um, that's a long time, isn't it? Um, it's it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit uh, it's it's yeah it's the same dentist as well. So I've been seeing the same dentist for over twenty years. So, so and she's been she's been she's been great. So she was the, the first the first person we saw after after our wedding. The next day uh, was the dentist to get me sorted and a temporary crown put on before before the official one arrived. Sod's law, I'll be due another one shortly. That'll be the, the big problem. I'll be due an, I'll be due an upgrade, a nice shiny new upgrade. Or should I say a, a less shiny upgrade because it'll be duller to, to, to match the teeth as they've got older. I think it's pretty okay actually, to be honest with you. So we're on the road to, not Marseille. Where are we going? I can't remember. Let's press F6. Must be an easier way of doing this. We were eight hours and, um, 34 minutes before we need to rest which is good we've got a yacht we're going to Montpellier that's where we're going to are they the people who do the the, 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 the like the like the, the water like the Perrier Montpellier I want to think it's something like that it's either that or they do accountancy systems I think I'm joking I think there is actually a company that does accountancy systems uh, called Montpellier. I don't think they're big. I don't think they're multinational as such. Anyway, completely aside there. I still haven't got myself a little model truck yet. Actually, I keep looking. And I keep. I can't find anything I really want yet. I, I do. I, I would like a model truck. I'd like a little orange one or something similar, or a black one like I'm, I'm driving at the moment. You know, a bit of both. If they could do one like that, that would be great. I really do love my daft, but but we're going to move to the man because I, I need to keep my because because my, my that's not quite OCD but 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 let's just say my my sense of order when it comes to vehicles re requires me to have the same ones in the same places running from the same whatever else is so so I think I think that's the the the, the, the plan anyway we'll, we'll we'll give it a try we'll see if we can get there we're just blasting along the road. So nothing else exciting today, unfortunately. I might have done some shopping, but to be fair, I thought, I'm to hell with it. I'm going to drive some trucks instead. I'm going to drive some trucks. I'm going to play the arcade challenge, which I really enjoyed this week. Um, it was track and field. Almost busted the joystick playing it. You have to waggle it left and right, don't you? I love this scenery. I do like these little islands, though. They're, they're such a complex little bit of island, aren't they? They're, 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 they're half Italian, half French. And you have to kind of go between the two to, to then take internal... Um, you'd have thought there would be a direct route between the, the, the Italian um, ports and France. But there isn't. You have to go to the French side to go to a French port. Kind of odd, isn't it? That sounds like a, that sounds like a money generation thing. You know, it's like that port would be closed if it wasn't for the fact that they do that. I guess in the historically they would have been they, they would have been you would have had to done that because obviously it wasn't the European Union as such and the, the freedom of movement. But back then, you know, it, it, I guess now there's that freedom of movement, but they've kept that in because um, all of the various ferrying services in here require money. They need to make money from it. I guess I don't know. Got some buses coming up. Got a little bit of side road here. There's nothing there. I've got the Man DLC, by the way. I bought that during the sale. The current, I don't think the sale's still on, but I do recommend it. I do recommend it. if you if you this is the first time you watched one of my episodes um, and you haven't got Euro Truck Simulator and you, you fancy it, definitely recommend it. I, I think I think I don't think you can go wrong with it, and I think that because it. It doesn't actually read a, what I would call a high requirement on, uh, although, you know, I've got a lovely specification machine. It doesn't require a, a high uh, performance machine, really. You know, I was I was technically originally, when I first started doing these episodes a number of years ago, I, I was using a machine, and in fact, to be fair, it's still a machine that I use for processing videos. It's still, it's, it's, get, it's getting on to six years old, um, and it's fine. It does the job just perfectly at six years old, so, so, yeah, it tells you a lot about it that it doesn't need that the requirements aren't as high as some other modern games but but to be fair it's so worth playing I'm surprised they haven't actually done a console version but at the same time i've been looking at there is a console game called um oh god i've become complete holder um there is a 
there is a, um, I don't know why I've turned the lights on, um, there is a console game at the moment in progress called Truck Driver, which seems to have some kind of story attached to it, you know, you're helping out your uncle or something similar, and this, that, and the other. I quite like the idea of that one, but, um, it, I don't think it's anyth on anything other than Xbox One at the moment, rather than Xbox One X, or Xbox One Series, Xbox, whatever it is, you know, whatever version it is. Um, I'm giving up now with that because that's just a stupid naming convention. At least you know where you're at when it says PlayStation 5, for God's sake. That makes more sense to me. But anyway, yeah, that that's that's available, um, you know, uh, on on that those those machines. So so I don't I don't know. I've looked at watched some videos. I watched a couple of guys driving this thing. It seems okay, but I, but it don't. I don't think it's I don't think it's anything. It's nowhere near as complex as this, but I did it. I don't think this is impossible to transfer over. I'm I'm busy using it off a controller at the moment, and yes, I know I need a steering wheel and all the other things to go with it, but I'm busy using it off a controller, and it seems fine to me. There's no there's no big issues with the the way it plays or runs. And I mean, to be fair, on the scale of things, it probably would have last worked at the last generation of games consoles, considering the design of it. If you think about it. You know, Xbox 360 and, and PlayStation 3? Yeah, it could probably have done. Maybe not PlayStation 3 with its silly cell processor, but anyway. Alright. This is a good run. This is a good choice, you know, because this, this allows us to get back to, to Marseille, to the man dealer. Hopefully, um, when we arrive, it'll be Thursday, apparently, we're arriving. If you look down there in that bottom right, next to that little red flag, um, which is the grey box. And that little red flag tells us that we have 648 miles to go, 24 hours journey-wise. We're going to arrive at 1320, which is fine. We can do 1320. We're going to arrive at 1320, um, which is 120 Keep in the left. afternoon. Keep left. Yeah, okay, thanks, Doug. I'm staying left. I'm ready. I am staying with you, Doug. I'm glad you said keep left, because I would have just been all over the right wasn't for you Doug thanks Doug and my, my sat nav is called raspy Doug and he's the voice of uh, Witcher 3 um, or the, the Witcher in Witcher 3 which I hadn't realized actually until I, I read up about him on IMDB got all the internet uh, the internet movie database which Amazon bought and why not it meant that they could attach it all to their their, their programs in their Amazon Prime Kind of makes sense to them. Here we go. I think we're in the village here. Uh oh, God! Go look, there's some, some, there's some, there's some little bit of wrangling going on with the old uh, transporting through here. Do you see that? Look at that! That, that, that down the GPS. That's a lot of. That's a lot of twisting and turning. I'm going to move over here because this is going to come over now into one lane. That's fine. We've got a roundabout coming up. Some pretty roses in that garden. Roundabout. Take the second exit. Do you remember when I got the, the week that I first took one of these and I ended up with this really little tight port which had very, very, very sort of uh, um, tight corners? Exit I think this now. is going to. I think this is going to be very similar. Exit now. We've been through this this um, port before. We've landed here before. It's how we got in here in the first place to do our Italian side of it. We're just mess messing around in Italy. We've completely forgotten about the Baltic states and all the other things, and we still, we still, and I, I'll, I'll I'll say it again. Uh, I, you know, we've still got the Spanish version. They were doing, they were showing it off the other day, and I, I kind of missed the video. They were having a little. Um, sort of, you know, a sort of preview of what they've done on the the Spanish side of it, the Spanish Portuguese side, um, and I, I, I hasn't, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Very excited. I'm going to be paying that pay for for a change. I'm going to pay full price for that one. And to be fair, I have paid full for full price for most of the DLC that they that have for this this game. Um, yeah. There we go. I turned in here. I thought I'd have turned in the other one actually. The roundabout. Take the second exit. Am I on the wrong side of the road here? I am. What am I doing? I forgot what side of the road I'm driving on. A fully idiot mode attached today. Exit now. 
Never mind. Sugar. I'll find a new route. Never mind, I'll find a new route. Go straight. Yeah, I'm going straight. Sorry. At the roundabout. Take the third exit. I'm on the pavement. Oh look at that. Straight on, ignore me. Carry on, you! Not that I was on it anyway, I wasn't on the roundabout, so I didn't have to give way. Exit now. Alright, okay. I don't know what I was thinking there. Go straight. I wasn't concentrating. It's like when I was going over in the... the, the well, to be fair, I, I did At tell you about the trip over to the northeast the and the, the beast of the east. Um, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the weather and the, the, the stopping. Now. I did actually stop at one place as well on the on the way there, um, which was uh, like a, a, like an industrial yeah, estate. Right. And I went down to the industrial estate. I thought, oh, I've made a mistake here because um, it was... Uh, turn right. Is he breaking in? Oh, no, he's taking photos of the paparazzi. Look, it's the paps. The paparazzi. I wonder what he's looking at. He's a bit he's a bit dodgy, isn't he? Right, okay, let's pull out here. Um so as I was saying to you, I I um, um I kind of I pulled into this industrial state, a bit like bit like this, sort of uh, the way it looks. Um, and I pulled in this industrial state. I thought it's, this is a mis you know, I've, I've made a mistake here. I'm not going to be able to get out because it's quite steep, uh, that hill and whatever else is. I was actually fine in the end, but it was just to give the old windscreen a wipe because it was uh, lacking the water that was needed to, to get it working. I can't believe it though. I've gone through flipping another another set of sprayer stuff in in the short length of time that I've been, you know, driving it this week. And I don't, to be fair, I think I've driven it quite a lot if I'm honest. So anyway, destinations. Let's go to this place in. In the French side. Rerouting. I don't know what Doug said there, but he said something. Doug, you're speaking to me and I can't hear a word. Let's try turning you up a little bit. Uh, turn it up for a change. You don't normally turn it up, but we're going to change it on. Turn it up. Handbrake's gone on. Always puts the handbrake on for you. It's very kind um, when you when it when it takes you on the the, the, the boats. The, 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 the boats. Get ready to turn oh. right. Yeah, I know. I'm going to turn, turn right. right. Thanks, Doug. You're very useful. He's a very useful man. I'm gonna have to change the sat nav though next time round. I think when we get this, drop this load off, we'll, we'll we'll change the sat nav to somebody else. We'll try. Was it? Was she? What was she called? I can't remember her name. It's a young lady that speaks. Get what was that movie right. where they changed the, the latent things? National Lampoon's um, Family Vacation, the new one. I'm assuming it's a new. I can't remember if this is called right. Family Vacation, but but there's a new one with which is basically meant to be the family of them. It was a re redone with Christina Applegate as the uh, the mum and and some can't remember the name of the guy who plays the the dad. Um, and and they they get this car a bit like the the original National Lampoons with Chevy Chase in it, and they they got the car and the, they they put the sat nav on and they managed to change the sat nav to 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 to, to like speak Korean or something like that. This is fun. Stick it, sticking, sticking out here. Oh, they're on the way. Ah, ah! What are you doing? What is that about? Yeah, I get it. It's a bit of a funny road, but dear God, right on top of me there. Okay. Is he still there? I'm miles away from the Blooming Junction there. Well, look at these guys looking at the boat over here. They're like scoping it out, look. You see them up the top there? Oh, God. I keep pushing the thing for the other camera. That was the top down view. I've kind of stri it, it kind of swapped through it on on this game with uh with a with a with a simple simple enough sort of uh you know push a tap of the up on the the, the tap on the on the on the D pad, um, you you flip through the cameras, so I wasn't doing that. Are they on bikes? Don't drive mount the curb to watch the people on bikes. I don't think I've ever seen them on bikes before. Every traffic light's not going my way at the moment. At least we get a long sleep shortly. I think it's a, it must be a 10 hour journey or something similar. It must be a long journey for over the cross the way. Perfect though this. Perfect for our for our for our for our for our day's journey. 
couldn't ask for more. Couldn't ask for better. Even people on bicycles, which I don't think I've ever seen in this game before. I went, uh, when we go to the dentist, we're driving there. It's not too far from the motorway, but it's a funny place to get to. So, so we were driving there on the way, and uh, uh, there was just everybody was because it's out of the village as well. This, this, shit. Uh, <clears throat> mm, uh, yep, uh, that nearly happened. Because um, out in a village, um, I. Uh, what are you doing? Crumbs. They're just crazy. Um, it's because it's out in a little village somewhere, um, not too far from the motorway. Everybody was like walking along the main road, walking and running, because it's because during the pandemic, it's like it's like what else are you gonna do, you know? So you, everybody's gone for a walk. So so there's loads of people just walking and and, and along the thing. It's quite surprising, really. They're a bit inland, aren't they? Those boats. You see them there. Thirty-two, speed limit. At the roundabout. Well, it's not smashing any cars. There's another one there. I actually gave way there completely to nothing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm exiting, I'm exiting. Leave me alone. There's a, there's a Volvo, I think, or a. Or a. Or a. At the or a take the first exit. Or a. What was it? No, it's not a Volvo. I thought it was. It's a Ford, maybe. Ford? No? I don't know. Sometimes you can't tell with these things. They're just modelled model, roughly on them, aren't they? They aren't quite the same thing, but they're model, sort of modelled in a way that's kind of uh, you know different. So that's a little go round here. That's just my mobile ringing again. Thankfully, the person I saw on it was somebody who won't mind when I call them back. So there we go. I knew it was going to keep ringing, even though I was trying to day off. <laughs> Put it in the system, don't see it. So, never mind. Right, okay, so we've got 19 hours to go. We're going to get a 2.05. There's another Mo Ford Mustang. I always quite fancied a Ford Mustang. You know, there's a, there's like, is it, is it a V12 or a V... Six version, I can't remember. Um, but but the, there's like a really big one, isn't there? It's like a five liter one, which is like really. I'm not that can afford one of these things, but 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 I always kind of fancied one of those. I always liked the idea of an American muscle car in the UK that's on the right side of the road, you know, that drives on the right side of the road for the United Kingdom. And I'm totally ridiculous and a gas guzzling monster, you know, just drinking all the fuel. But um, still quite a nice sort of thing. For a Ford. You know. A lot of notice now. boards. I, I, I kind of... I kind of worry about all these notice boards a little bit. I kind of think that... That, 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 that they're... That they're um, you know... I don't know. I'm hoping that they're not going to do advertising on them. I hope they're not... They're not I hope they're not... Uh, that badly off that they need to do that but then again you never know with people do you and whether or not they're going to do active in-game advertising i know they're advertising themselves on them but um do, 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 do they do they do they need to make in-game sort of advertising for themselves or other people i don't know that guy's just overtaking on a bend blind bend wow you see that? Blind bend. It makes me reminds me of being in Scotland. I do like hash lines in Scotland mean you can drive over them at speed. By the way, you know when you're doing the down the motorway or whatever, or the road. Sorry, not motorway, um, but down the road, and you, you come to hash lines, and um, you know in, in the in the on the on the UK side, as as their 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 their, their lady likes to say. Um, First Minister likes to say, um, you've got, uh, you know, they've, they've got, uh, they've got, uh, in the UK, you, you, you know, you're not meant to overtake on hash lines. In Scotland, uh, it seems to be the common, common default that you can overtake at speed on hash lines um, on blind bends. Um, <laughs> my experience of it, I don't expect anything less, funnily enough. Whenever I'm driving, the, driving there, which just happens quite a lot, 
I expect that to happen all the time. Uh, it's not even. It's not even. It's not even like a, a rare occurrence or that one kind of silly person that, that does it. They everybody does it. Well, I don't do it, but but everybody else does. Um, I just think it's. I think I just. I think you know. And it's not because anybody's going slow. It's just that. They, they, I guess they think that they might as well because the, the hashed lines are there. Makes for some interesting things when you try to be in the middle of it turning, to be honest with you, though. Um, can't be very careful there. That looks an interesting place to go to, doesn't it? I like the little quarry up at the top there. That looks an interesting place. Loving the dappling going on there. Do you like that? I like that. Look at this. That's cars are overtaking again. I hope there's nothing on coming. You're lucky. Uh, like a house at the top there. Oh God, don't they stop to accelerate that much? I applied the brakes to have a little look upwards, and um, now I've just decelerated to like everything. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at the next ferry, so we're going to take another long ferry and a lot of long sort of sleep. Put the lights on actually now. It's uh. Get ready to turn what time right. Is it? Seven. 35 p.m. Lights are on. The sun is dipping. We're turning to go turn up this right, road up right. here. Turn right, then turn right. Yep. Turn right. Right, wow. That's a hell of a bend. That's a, a literally a high up in bend, that. that, that that's the, the, that's got the hallmarks of a, a rally course of some sort. I worked with a rally team once, actually. Not just just, just doing their usual sort of computering things. In fact, I've worked a couple of them, to be honest with you. Very interesting places, but one of the things you have to do is leave your mobile phone the moment you walk through the door. They insist that you do so that you don't so, so you don't uh, you know take any photographs that may you know be uh, expose their technologies because they're very proprietary. You know they don't they don't share their technologies um, with anybody else at all. But yeah, very proprietary. But it, but it, but it works. I mean, that's obviously how they, they do things. You, they, they don't even talk to each other realistically. That well, they do and they don't. If that makes sense. Because if they develop, develop something that isn't breaking the rules, um, that's kind of yeah, it, it's it's a it's a it's an interesting one. You know that, that that you know you can build technologies and as long as it doesn't break any current rules, um, but it gives you an edge. That's what they're interested in. They used to build, though, custom Bentley cars, so they worked with Bentley and it was custom ones. These things were not cheap. And the, you know you know that whole um, sterile sort of environment, that whole uh, sort of, it's it's absolutely, you know, clean as a whistle kind of thing. Really, really clean. Yeah, that was, that was it. I also worked with another guy who uh, used to do Formula One cars, and he his his garage was also very much the same. It's just absolutely spotless. Um, you, you've never seen anything like it. Everything was cleaned up all the time. Everything was. I mean, it, obviously, it was a garage, and the, 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 there's garage-related things that go with that. But but as much as possible, the thing was spotless. You know, you could probably eat your dinner off the floor. To be honest, you wouldn't want to, but you probably could. Oh, look at these people watching the watching the whatever they're doing there. Birds and things, I think. Bird watching, maybe. It's just such a strange road because it takes you so so wildly up and down. The sun's setting, and I've got a boat. Got a yacht, should I say? Yacht. I wonder how big that yacht is. I don't think it says the size, does it? Fifty footer? Nah. Forty, maybe. Oops. Somebody's in trouble. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, there's been a crash. There was a crash. Somebody impacted on the back of that truck. That was bad. And to be fair, I need to come back on my side of the road. That was bad. Somebody somebody somebody's got hurt there. Especially the level that that was. You you could imagine the driver and the car behind us is possibly seriously injured after that. There was still smoke coming out as well, so it's, they're probably still quite fresh to get them out. Fire brigade was just there, and the old jaws of life going to 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 to, to break them free. 
And years ago they used to, remember that? Years ago they used to have to, you know, they'd cut you free, if that made sense. Now they've just got these hydraulic crushers that just effectively just pinch the roof off the entire vehicle you've got. So to, to rescue you and get in there fast, they just pinch the, the pinch the sides of it with this hydraulic thing, snaps the, 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 the frame like in the corner of my, my windscreen here, and, and that's it, you're, you're free. Quite amazing, really, how the world has changed. Okay. Where are we coming to a roundabout? Here, I think. I don't know. I thought it was a roundabout. Oh, maybe there is. It's just around this corner. Here we go. At the roundabout, take the second exit. I will, Doug. I will. Thank you. It's very useful sometimes, Doug. Exit I never now. even knew that they were there. I quite. Do you know one of the features I like most about the GPS now that I know it's there in the options menu? Um, is the beeping when you uh, when you're speeding? It gives you a little uh, a warning that you've you you you're speeding. It actually helps me not speed so much because I can hear it and I go do do and I go oh okay I've got to slow down here. My GPS does that in my van, but it only does it. This is a bizarre thing. If I'm going to a destination, if I'm just driving around normally, it doesn't even show me the speed. Sometimes it's very weird. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Probably a setting I've not set on the old phone because it, it uses um, the Android um, Auto app basically. But it only does it for me when I'm when I'm going to a destination. Wow, route, this looks good. Oh, I hear the kettle. I might get another brew here. This might this must be this might be good. Two brews. Just had one before, you see. I like a good flow of coffee. I don't know about you. Mind you, to be fair, if you've ever watched my channel, you know how fine well I love coffee. Absolutely adore coffee. My, one of my favorite. It's my one of my favorite drinks. It's kind of you know. I think when if, if I ever pass away, they're gonna just find my you know my stomach contents is gonna be like pure caffeine or something like that. Oh, a little bit of roadworks. Sign of here, no pavement. That's still working on that. Oh god, at twenty-one. I tell you what, they're rushing to finish that if they're still working at uh, nine twenty tw nine nine nine. Uh, what time is it? Nine sixteen at night. It's a lot of time. Okay, here we come to the. Um, we're coming up on our. There's our. That's our. That's our ferry there. Get ready to turn left. Elo lines, something like that. Elo lines. Here we Turn go. Turn left. Turn left. Yeah, I know. Got it. Turn left. Let's do it. We're going around. And we're almost there. So we're still going to get in at um, 3.47. Which is cool. That's the time we're going to get there. Let's plow on in. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get in here. If I can't get into the man dealer because I've arrived at the wrong time today, what I'm going to say to, to say is that we we will we'll, 14 hour journey. Wow. Um, okay. Brrr, Let's find a new um, um, uh, you know, if I can't get into the man dealer. Um, uh, I, I, what we'll do is we will buy it online. All right, I don't know, don't really want to, but I will buy it online if they can't get it to the man dealer. So, so we'll do that. I don't know what will happen there though, because it might shift me to all the way to my Italian base, because that's where it is. Get so we'll find out what happens if that is the case. I'm hoping it isn't the case, but but you know that I like to 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 to, to oh god, turn left. Um, I I like to do the the whole sort of. Uh, experience as if it was it, it's kind of real and i know that nowadays it's very real to be to buy online we definitely buy a lot of stuff online as a, as a country um but you can't penalize as far as i'm concerned though you can't penalize um current sort of, of uh, i mean opening in a high street shop is actually a really bad thing to do nowadays because the tax unfortunately gets you you'd be much better opening an online and warehouse now, where you pay less tax isn't that sad i think that's sad and that means the high street is completely collapsing and and, and the pandemic has certainly uh, certainly uh, hastened um the demise of the 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 the, 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 the retail shop 
Um, it's not exactly a level playing field. It's, and uh, like, oh, is, what, what always happens is the world changes and the law is slow to react to it. So, so either they need to be taxing the people with the warehouses more or reducing those people who do um, shop-based sort of, you know, high street things less. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, I think there's probably a balance between the two. Maybe you split the difference. And, you know, the, 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 the online retailers pay half as much as a helicopter just flying over there or hovering. Did you see it? Um, half the sort of the value that the, the other guys are playing and they paid the other half. And, the, and that way you're kind of balancing that playing field, aren't you? Then there's no, nobody at an advantage or disadvantage. And that's the way it goes, unfortunately. I'm sure there's all other things as well. I bet the tax, re the, the, the insurance requirements for the residential people are, are you know, not residential, but you know, the people who've got people footfall inside the buildings is completely different to the the the, uh, the uh, footfall for, 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 say, a warehouse somewhere. Not to say that the warehouses aren't busy, but the people working there are technically employees, so it works differently in the way that you insure it. It's a bit of a sad state of affairs, actually, to be honest with you. There's something there, big advert saying e space or whatever it was. Right, we're following an ambulance. We're going to our destination. We're on our way. We're due to get there in a decent length of time. We've got a 3 hours and 18 minutes. It's a reasonable run. This has been a reasonable run, actually. This is a one for... We did, a, we did two last week. This has been a reasonable run this week for, the, for this one. Let's, 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 let's enjoy the, the, the fact that it's been such a reasonable run. I am going to miss me little truck bits and things like that. I'm just... I'm hoping the man stuff is just as good when we get into those, those, that DLC for it. And we'll, we dig in and we see, what, see what's actually there. I'm hoping that it's... The stuff is just as as exciting as the as the as the bits and pieces we've got for the for the, the the daff here. I do love this truck, though. I have, I have to admit the the, the dashboard. I, I, you know, normally I would be like, nah, nah, we're not we're, we're not we're not doing walnut. But do you know what? It's there's something nice about it. I have to admit, I do love a bit of walnut dash. I've got my my my, uh, my wooden sort of uh, handle for steering with easier. Do like it. Here we go. We're on our way. Trains. Go some, straight. Some, some. Yeah, I'm going straight. Some. Uh, some. Some. Some carriages. For trains. Get ready to turn right. I was having a. I was having a conversation with somebody who uh, that 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 that, that uh, or a customer I work with. Um, and we get on very well. Uh, we've been working together Turn for right. seven plus years now. Um, and uh, I was having a conversation with them, and we were we were having a lovely conversation, bizarrely, about trains of all things. It was we were we were we were fully uh, fully absorbed in sort of you know uh, history of sort of travelling and trains. And as a kid, you know, I travelled in trains quite a lot and up and down the country to see grandparents and things like that. And I just always enjoyed trains. I always thought they were fine. I mean, they were they were always full and busy and all that kind of stuff. But but this is the day of British Rail and we, just, we were just discussing it and I was saying how um, I worked for a, for a one particular um, company I can name nameless in the sense of that I, 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 they should say name nameless but they opened their facilities up like two, day, two days a year for like people to come and look around but but they also have a lot of trains there again some of these other places where you're not allowed to take photographs um, so so um, but they have there uh, a, a British Rail still logoed up um, British Rail logoed up um, uh, train. I can't, don't know what mod, make model it was. I mean, basically 40 or 50 tons of train, um, all locomotive, um, and uh, it's named after it's named after the last Vulcan plane to fly in the UK. And it's actually called Vulcan, and it has the same number as that as that as that last Vulcan that flew. Isn't that cool? I thought that was a cool little touch there. So not only have you got the 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 you know the train itself, um, you know, being I think pretty cool because I mean if you've ever if you've ever seen a uh, you know a 50 ton train, there's a train there. Look, it goes, it goes, 50 ton train suspended by 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 in, in a you know sort of mechanical uh, lift so that they can work on it like it was if it was a car. That is something to behold, honestly, because that machinery involved in that is such strong stuff. Um, but uh, you know, you've seen that. That's quite amazing. Um, but then, sort of naming that as a as a Vulcan and that last sort of uh, uh, you know Cold War 
bomber. Um, it's kind of cool. I, I, well, I certainly think so. Anyway, Cold War b bombers, things that were like for like 19-hour flights and, and teeny little spaces for people sitting. I've actually sat in one before. It's quite, it's, it's quite, uh, it's quite cramped, really. You really wouldn't want to be in it. But yeah, they were for long flights for. You know, well, I assume dropping nuclear Excellent. weapons, actually, to be honest. I think that's what they're, they're probably for with this long-ranged uh, bomber, you know. Have you ever heard them fly as well? They're incredible. The noise is just incredible. It's just, just, it's just a, it's, it's a thundering roar of a, of a plane. But it's not the fastest of planes, but it's just a thundering roar. But it doesn't, I think it has to be fast. I think it just needs to fly high and far enough and then fly back again. That's the, that's the big, that's the big thing for it. Anyway, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. We have 143 miles to go. We're going to get in at 2.44 p.m. Um, we have three hours and three minutes on the road. We have plenty of diesel. We've done a lovely big journey here. Um, we've got to make it all the way back to Marseille here, actually. So I think I'm just going to do it online. I think we'll do it online. We'll get the truck online, and then we'll, 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 we'll transfer to it. And I suspect that's going to throw me all the way back. To, uh, I was going to try and drive back there, but to be fair, considering how far it is to this place from Marseille, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to I'm going to avoid that because we're, we're going to be late. So let's let's do let's do the uh, let's do an online purchase, which is not what I like doing, but we'll do it that way. Because we can still inspect it online in the online thing, even though technically the game is on. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. I think it will transfer me to that location, though. I think I'll be thrown to um, Bari, which is where I am. I think it's Bari, isn't it? Bari? Bari. It's Bari. All right, Bari. That was my best Brummie accent there, by the way. I spent some time down, down, down in Coventry. don't know what accent they have. I think it's quite very. It's, it's like the Birmingham accent, isn't it? It's quite the same. I had a few mates from Birmingham. It's not that far away either. It's like it's 20 miles or something, not 30, 20, 30 miles. But they do actually say, um, you know, uh, statistically, you know, not statistically, not even statistically, that actually accents change every 20 miles. So um, it is actually totally feasible that, uh, you know, one doesn't do the other. I need to keep left. Keep left. I'm keeping left. Thank you, dog, for keeping me right. I was going to go wrong there, but I'm not. I'm staying straight. I must be going to... Oh, God. I hope I'm not going to want to dodgy marinas to put drop this off. I bet I am, you know. It looked very inland where I'm going, though. Don't know. I don't know a lot about yachts. One of the interesting things about being old crumbly like I am because I'm well, a little bit old and crumbly sometimes um, is that you do actually you do collect a whole bunch of silly stories as long as uh, 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 the longer you kind of live and longer you're on this planet the more silly your stories get um, oh god I'm going on this road here and I'm uh, I'm trying to get my coffee sorted ah I'm swerving all over slow down slow down slow down calm down right calm down which one do we go through that one's green let's go through that one because we've got an auto pass I can't believe I just pushed that all over the place there. Just trying to get into there. Right, so this one should let us through at 19 miles per hour. That's fine. Perfect. Whoa, look at that one. That truck's tried pulling trucks. Did you see it? It's amazing. Nothing underneath me. That's cool. We're, we're pull out now. That police car, I hope, wasn't following me while I was swerving all over the road. I'll be getting pulled over for that. Nice and rested, by the way, because we obviously did the journey previously. So we're nice and rested. We have 101 miles to go, 2 hours and 10 minutes. I'm just trying to get us up to speed. Um, there's a lot of drag on this thing, which is actually a factor here. Um, I'm trying to get up to, to 56 miles per hour, but it's really struggling. And I think it's actually the shape of the, ve the, 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 the item that I'm towing. I think it's actually got quite a lot of drag factor to it um, which is making it quite uh, quite difficult to um, there we go let you on there go for it quite difficult to uh, to, to, to tow is it tow or haul keep right keep right oh no 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 I'm on right 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 Montpellier there we go we are right we'll stay right thanks Doug Try to get my coffee. 
the same time as doing this. It's not going very well. I was trying to adjust it so I could get hold of it. Now I can't get hold of it. I need to intravenously put in. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I've got, got ah, drifting coffee. Mm. Oh, extremely hot coffee. Right, I'm going to come over. Come on, just behave yourself. Wow, that's terrible driving there. 75 miles to go anyway. Um, that was loads of swerving all over the road because I basically was trying to drink my coffee. That's just terrible. And there it is, just on the dashboard, look. I can't even reach it. Actually, that would be a terrible location, isn't it? It depends where you're sitting and the thing. I think I'd have to reach over to get that, wouldn't it? Nice water body. Just going through, making our way through. Now here we come to the other toll gate that we come out the other side with. So we've got the auto pass, so it'll auto pay. They come, I think, built in, don't they, on uh, on on the DAFs. Some things you have to pay for them, but but on the DAF, I think they're all they're they're they're, they're, they're free. Hello, dog. Let's go for it. I am going to slow down to about 20... 20 miles an hour. Whoa! I keep on swerving through that. I'm going to come over this way. Stay out of its way. The car just whipping up the inside of me there. That, that It's like a cash car, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, hang on. What's going on over here? Somebody's been stopped. Oh dear. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Right, okay. Definitely going to have to do it online, because um, otherwise this video is going to be massive, because I'm going to have to go back again. So we're not going to have a, we're not gonna have a moosive video today. No moosive video. We're just going to have a nice, leisurely drive to this location, which we're one hour away from now, 50 odd miles, 50, 49 miles. Well, and we'll 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 do a we'll do an online purchase of a, of a new man truck. I don't think I've got quite enough for the for the for the six hundred thousand. I think there's one for six hundred thousand. Don't think quite enough for that. There's like a like a super sports model which is enormous, just an absolute animal of a machine. But we'll have a look. We'll see what we can find. And maybe if we swap to it, it'll send us back to Marseille. Maybe. Do you think they bring it to us? You'd think if we bought it online, they would drive it to a location, wouldn't you? To do the swap? That's maybe just me thinking that. That would be cool if that was the case, wouldn't it? Oh, this is going to be interesting, though, because I've moved that one there. How am I going to swap these two trucks around without having another base? Keep mm. left. This might be interesting. I'll be interested to see how this one goes, actually. This could be, this could be an interesting scenario. Sugar! I was in Glasgow once and uh, I watched a, a police. You see how I've just pulled over there where the like, lines are all changed into it? Um, there was a car I was trying to go through there and uh, he got the police pulled him over because he decided to change lanes on the hashed line itself. And they pulled him over because he should, you know, and, and pointed out that he should be going the other way because he'd already he'd committed and not moved over fast enough. It's just that the last second that he decided to use the, the hash lines to do it. So they, they gave him got a bit of a telling off for that. I don't know how right or wrong that is. Anyway. I am on the way. Let's do this. I'm just making my way there. Right, 19 miles to go. 29 minutes. We are ready for the for the for the for the big one. The arrival of uh, of the whole thing. I'm gonna be able to tomorrow. I've, I've just, as I said, I didn't do my domestic stuff. So tomorrow I've got a little bit of shopping to do, and then I've got my what's on the tape that I do for the, the ZX Spectrum. I'm looking forward to that actually. 
Um, I know what it is this week though. It's one of those. Uh, it's one of those scenarios where it's almost the end of my season that I do for that. Um, and I have basically I've got a, a, a mega tape to do, which is one that I actually know what's on it. So it's quite exciting. You never know though. It never. Lo sometimes it never load. But it's worth a try. Okay, we're going up the road. Oh, I haven't even checked. I'm just pulling straight out. What? That was terrible. I never checked. I just pulled out. Never even looked. Okay. And we're just on that. We're on the last two miles now. So we can see the destination here. We, it's coming up. There's somewhere a park around the corner. There's a nice hotel, which is obviously that there. It's a fancy hotel, actually. So we can stay there for the night, which is good. So we'll do that. It's funny we don't get hotel charges as well, you know. At the roundabout, take the you know, because we pull exit. up there and do hotel charges. He's surprised that we don't get it. It's like part of the expenses for the game. Somebody was saying in the comments, I can't remember the name. Sorry, apologies. They'd had they had like 1.5 um, trillion in the, the bank. That's uh, a lot of that's a lot of dosh. That means you can buy basically all the fanciest trucks. I mean that that literally is fanciest trucks, the fanciest everything. That's the, that's that's what you get when you've got that kind of level of money, I guess, in the game. Plus that and the fact that uh, you know, um, good old um, guy from Amazon won't will be be after you. That's some haulage service if you're doing that. I've obviously been here before, by the way. At the roundabout. I definitely think I've been here before. Exit. Okay, first get first exit. Here we go. Exit now. Oh, Globus. Globarus, your ass. Turn left. <laughs> your ass. That's just not right. I can guarantee this is going to be a dodgy parking bit. And there is actually an option that it might park it at the back. Here we are. But. Safe and sound. But there is occasions that it doesn't do that. Let's have a little look and see if we can get this thing parked. Yeah, I thought it might be. Okay, it's there. So, uh, let's do it. May not be as bad as I think. We've got a double axle on this thing, so we should be able to swing quite hard round um, once I pull level with it. So, if I can, if I can pull level with this. Just looking out this mirror. So... If I just bring that like that. Right, okay. Let's have a little look outside. Where are we at? Not quite as level as I'd like to be. So, but I think we can we can pull this forward now. Uh, like this. And use all the space that we can possibly use. Um, is it a double axle? Yeah, look. Oh, look, look. I've not noticed that before. But there, the back eight, the back axle is, is turning. So, 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 so there is actually some, some, some turn on, some, some 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 maneuverability on that axle which means i'm probably i'm probably in position now to actually reverse into the location so let me just let me just do that okay let's just do that let's do this we're just swinging it around Okay, okay, okay. We're going in. Okay. Need to check where we're at. I think I'm I think I'm miles off. I think I'm miles off. Or maybe not. Less than I think I am. Let's have a little look on the outside. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so if I just bring this round square. We should be alright. Let's have a look. Okay. And... Stop there. We should be... Okay now. For the whole thing. And we're going in. Straight now, please. Straight. That axle at the back. I don't know if it's, it's actually independent of the... Of what I'm doing here, but but either way, it's a little bit, be a little squirmy, if I'm honest. That's it. I'll take it. It's good. 
It's very good. Right, let me just push the button. And we're free. So what I'm going to do now, once we get this mission here, and we get that sorted, let me give me a second. Look at this, all these things, the skills and the ranks, well making money. Excellent. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the nearest place that we can sleep, which we'll zoom out and we'll do in a second. I think there's a place over here. Let's have a look. There. And this petrol station here. Oh, actually, there's one here. Let's go to this one instead. Let's, let's get rid of that one. And let's go to that one, because that looks interesting. That looks like a big hotel. So let's go to this big hotel for the night. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back to the big hotel, and we'll drive there. And then let's we'll go. basically buy the, the, the man truck. So let's do that. Let's do this. Okay, okay, come on. Morning, or afternoon. Lost track of time with all of the, the ferry Turn trips. Right. Yeah, what we'll do. We're on the way. Take the third exit. We're on the third exit. We're going for it. Exit now. I am. That felt quick. Let's do that. Speeding. Go straight. We're just we're just heading on to the to the final location. And we're gonna make a little turning oh no, go straight, we're roundabout first. Thought for a minute that Mini was gonna come out on us, didn't. Roundabout. Take the third exit. Third exit. I actually need to sleep, you know. We're, we're quite quite well sort of rested, so we might we might do that in a we might do that a second, so oh up the curb. Go straight. Let's go this way. And in we go. Oh. I can't drive in there. I ran into an invisible wall. Oh my god. I, I thought that was it. And I didn't. It wasn't it. I ran into an invisible wall. I've never done that before. I didn't even know there was invisible walls. I actually ran into a. It didn't didn't hurt me. It just just I just came to a thump stop. It was weird. Exit now. Yeah, I'm exiting now. I'm just force my way on there. To turn right. I am getting ready. I'm getting ready. Here we go. Where's the right turn? It's here. Turn right. Yes. This is a nice looking place. We're here. We're now here. Drop the load and go. Ah, drop the load and go. Yes, we are dropping the load and going. Let's uh, chuck this in here. Come to a halt and we'll leave it be there. Right. Let's have a look at the outside. That's cool. Right. I actually, I'm. Do you know? I, I've thought about this. I'm going to next episode. I'm going to start with the man truck because we've been up to an hour anyway. And uh, we'll start with the man next episode, and we'll leave this one here for now. So anyway, I've been your host, Real Generic Team, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. If you've got some ideas for the man truck, though, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.